Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another haul video. I am so excited to share this haul with you guys. So today, and by the way, I'm a mess. Please excuse my appearance. <laughs> today I went to the $1.99 Goodwill sale. I haven't been in like three weeks. And also, um, I haven't been since Amelia started school. So this is the first time that I went where I didn't have Amelia in tow and I could just take my time and go through the store and really like shop the sale. And um, if you guys don't know, Monday is the $1.99 tag of the week at my store. So a lot of this I paid $1.99 for. Today was green tag. So anything with a green tag, I paid $1.99. I did pay up for a few items today. I found some really awesome stuff and I'm, oh, I'm so excited. So I actually, the reason I look a mess is because I wanted to make sure I got there right when they opened and it was kind of a hectic morning. We almost missed Alexa's bus and it was just a lot of like running around. So I didn't have time to put on makeup but I decided not to like stop and put on makeup and then go. I was like, no, I want to get there right when they opened. And I'm so glad I did because wait till you see, wait till you see this haul, you guys. So I went in with a game plan this time. Um, I've been organizing my office, as you guys know, if you haven't seen it, definitely check out my vlogs. I have been over the past like really year and a half going through and organizing my office. And um, part of it, I realized I have some... <clears throat> sections of my inventory because I sell everything. I have some sections that I have room to grow. Like I have storage space in those sections and other ones where I don't. So today I wanted to focus on trying to find belts, handbags, uh, makeup, skincare, um, or shoes. Those were the categories where I feel like I have some room for um, storage. So I started in the belts. I unfortunately was not able to find any. My store really prices up the belts. There were none on sale today and there was hardly any belts at all. There was only like 10, 15 belts total. So I didn't find any belts, unfortunately, but then I went to handbags and I found, oh my gosh, the bind of the day. Um, let me start with that because, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe this was there. It needs a light, light wipe down, but this is a belt bag. And it's like a quilted, I'm assuming this is leather because of the brand, but let me check. Feels, feels like leather. It's not leather. Okay, so it's faux leather, but it's Amanda Uprichard. This is a very expensive brand, you guys. Now, I didn't look up comps on this particular bag because it was actually a green tag. So I only paid $1.99 for it. So I do know that I will be able to make a good profit on this. Um, just because that brand is a really good brand. I don't know what comps exactly are on this bag, but I'll try to put them on the screen if I can. Um, gosh, I'm tempted to keep this because it's really, really cute little belt bag. It has, um, it's in really great condition. It just has like a couple little scuffs, which I think I can just wipe right down. So really happy. That was the first thing I found and I was so excited. All right, now we'll just get into the rest of it. I actually did end up finding a lot of clothes. I did start, like I said, I started at belts. I went to um, handbags after that and then shoes. And then I went all the way across the store to the uh, makeup and skincare. I didn't find anything in there except some like expired doTERRA and um, Young Living um, oil, essential oils. I don't like to pick up the expired ones. Um, and then that was all I found there. And then I just went through clothes and I went through so many more clothes than I was expecting to because I just kept finding good stuff. So once I start finding good stuff, I don't want to stop. And I just kept hitting more and more scores. So, all right, let's get into the rest of it. Enough talking, Lisa. Okay. These are for myself. This is a pair of old Navy size 12. That's my size extra high rise sky high straight. Um, and they're a button fly. I love Old Navy jeans for myself. Personally, I will actually go to Old Navy and pay full price for those types of things because they fit me so good and I know my size and all of that. Um, so those are for me. I'll set those aside. This is a Madewell top, size large, so really good size. Again, it was $1.99 and I really like the print on this. That yellow, like, I don't even think they're sunflowers. Maybe they're sunflowers. That yellow print. Um, yeah, it's just a cute little popover blouse. Tempted to keep that for myself, but I think I'll try to sell it. Uh, let's see. This is a really good vintage brand, Laura Ashley. Someone removed this size, which is kind of a bummer, but um, since it was $1.99, I figured I'll go ahead and measure it. Um, it's just a sleep shirt or sleep dress nightgown. So, so, so soft. And I really like the floral pattern on that. I did buy this Show Me Your Moo Moo. Um, 
bathrobe. Everybody's seen this robe. <laughs> this robe I've sold before, I've owned before. Um, it came in a FabFit fun box and like everybody had these. It was only $1.99 and it came with the belt. I'm kind of thinking I might want to keep this for myself because I've been wanting a new bathrobe and I actually, like I said, used to have this bathrobe, but um, I'll put that in my pile for now. They don't sell very well because they're so oversaturated, but um, okay, Athleta. This is a newer Athleta tag, so I am a lot pickier with Athleta, but um, this is a new tag. It's called the Brooklyn Ankle Pant, and it's in a size four. They look like they're in perfect condition, and they were only two dollars, or yeah, two dollars, dollar ninety nine. So I picked those up. The older tag Athleta, unless it's a really good style, I will leave behind even now when they're dollar ninety nine. By the way, I'm trying to be a lot pickier especially with clothing because I have so much inventory. Um, I ended up leaving behind some um, Eileen Fisher today. Like I usually pick up Eileen Fisher when it's $1.99 no matter what, but I left some behind today. I left behind a pair of colored jeans because I just can't sell colored jeans. Even at $1.99, even a good brand like Eileen Fisher, and I left behind a, a blouse that was a size extra small, even though it was only $1.99 because I'm like, it just doesn't move, so I can't justify picking it up even at that price anymore. Um, okay, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is a linen blouse. It has that like lace up on the top there. It is white, but I checked it over really carefully and I did not see any flaws. Um, I think it's 100% linen. I can use some really good keywords like lag and look and <clears throat> um, natural fibers. Yeah, it's 100% linen and I paid $1.99 for this as well. Also, it is a size large, so good size. All right, next, this is a Bailey 44, which sometimes is sold at Anthropology, but not always. Um, and this is a size large, and it's a very like Y2K with a zipper on the top there. So that's why I picked it up. Um, Bailey 44 is another brand that I'm really quite picky with, but uh, I liked the style on that because I can use the key term Y2K. Eileen Fisher, this is a size medium. I liked this one uh, because it's like a a nice like boxy fit and I think this one is organic or um yeah this one is 60% wool 30% silk and 10% cashmere so a really good blend of fabrics as well and it has that boxier fit heading into fall I feel like that's a really good piece all right next we have an Eliza J size 8 this was also $1.99 and it's a really cute off the shoulder pencil dress probably like a midi length and it has the blue and white stripes with the pink accents. I thought that was fun. All right, next, this is Torrid Jeans. And I am pickier with these, but they are brand new with tags. So, and they were $1.99. So Torrid, and they're called the High Rise Straight Jeans. Brand new with all the tags on it. Size 14 regular. And I paid $1.99 for those. Okay, next. Oh my gosh, this I'm so excited about. I'm actually going to see if my boyfriend wants this and one other thing. So I need to set these aside. This is John Varvatos, which is a really expensive brand, size large, and it's just like a men's um, black and white striped polo, but super nice brand. If you guys don't know this brand, look it up. It's a really high-end brand. All right, next. What is this? Oh, my, more Eileen Fisher. This one is a size medium as well, also $1.99, and it's a really pretty green. I like this like mint green, and it's a tunic, tunic length. Um, blouse. I wonder what the fabric content on this is. I didn't even check on this one. I just thought I liked the color, which is why I grabbed this one. It's a viscose spandex blend. <clears throat> this I bought just based on style, you guys, not the brand. Don't buy this brand if you find it. I only bought this based on style, size, and price. So it is apartment nine and it's a size extra large. It was $1.99 and I just love that butterfly right there with the kind of um, like, what do you even call that? Um, I'll have to look up key terms, but it has that like dye. Anyways, this is a very Y2K style. So I am definitely gonna use all those key terms. I'm gonna talk about the butterfly and all that in the description and hopefully that'll sell quickly based on those factors. Okay, this is a uh, cabbie. I left behind a lot of cabbie, even though it was $1.99. This one I paid $1.99 for. The reason I got this is because it's 100% silk and it's a really pretty floral blouse. So I got that. 
Um, I found so much Cabby and so much Joie that I left behind. And those are brands I usually will pick up at $1.99. But um, yeah, I've been, been really strict about making sure that I'm factor stacking. Judy Blue, size small. Yeah, size small, denim, rolled shorts. These I paid $1.99 for as well. Here's the other men's shirt that I'm gonna see if my boyfriend wants. Um, this brand I did not recognize, but I could tell it was very high quality. So it's Rod and Gun. And I did look up comps and the comps were really good. I saw some listed for around 60, but I think like more realistically, I could probably get like 40 to 45 for this if my boyfriend does not want it. So I'll set that aside. <clears throat> All right, shoes. I killed it in the shoe section, you guys. I killed it. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to make sure that I go there right when it opens from now on and when I can. This is Jolie Mall. I don't know this brand, but I could tell from the leather that it feels really well made. And these are like a, it hoops through here. Anyways, it's like a, a strappy sandal and they just feel very well made. I paid $2 for those, so those should do okay. Oh, let me show you this real quick. When I walked in, they had like a display table and I saw this sitting there. This was also $1.99. Um, this I think is like, a um, po it's pottery obviously, but I think it's like, uh, like handmade or something, or what is that called? Like studio pottery. It's got a lot of cracking on the bottom though, but I just thought it was really beautiful and I'm really kind of on the fence about whether I should keep it or sell it, but I think I'm leaning towards keeping it right now because I just have, because of all the divorces and moves <laughs> that I've been through over the past few years, I have almost no personal home decor left and I would like to have something so I might end up keeping that oh this I got for me too I got a lot for myself today this is just I think it's like a boutique brand it is new with tags um, but it was $1.99 and it's this really cute little lavender cropped cardigan with the short sleeve and the rib knit so cute I'm definitely keeping that oh my gosh I forgot I found this you guys I did so good today this is the brand Lamb, which is a very high-end uh, brand from, uh, what's her name? Uh, no Doubt. What is her name? She was in the, no, the group No Doubt. Gwen Stefani. It's Gwen Stefani's brand. Um, usually, I find bags or shoes with this brand. I don't think I've ever found clothing from this brand before, um, but it is a very high-end retail price brand. Um, I paid $1.99 for that. Okay. These are so stinking cute. So this brand is Mark Fisher, which is mm, not that great usually, but I love the style on these. Very Y2K. I love the fun yellow and the condition was really good and I paid $1.99 for those. Next, I got these boots. These are Sam Edelman. They're in really good condition. I paid $2 for these. They're a nice studded, um, like, what's that called? <laughs> Riding boot. There we go words okay these are vintage etienne agner and i like the style on these i don't know they're i don't know how to describe them they're just kind of a funky ankle boot they are leather they're in really good condition and what size are they they are a size nine size nine so those are really nice okay what else did i get oh my gosh you guys i did so good I love it when I do this. It's good. These are just a pair of um, like uh, slides. They're from the brand Mila Powley. I think I sold this brand one other time. I, I'm pretty sure you can find it at Marshalls. Um, they are leather though, and I paid $1.99 for them. This is what they look like. I just think they're really classic and very cute. I'm just trying to see what size they are though. They're a size eight. I was kind of tempted to keep them, but that's not my size, unfortunately. Okay. What else do we got? We got another pair of leather ankle boots and these ones are Cole Haan and I paid $1.99 for those too. You guys, like, come on. I did so good today, right? Okay, rate my rate my haul from one to 10. I, I give myself like a nine and a half. I think I did really good. Um, these are just a pair of generic sunglasses, the cheap ones that are like the new, new stock that they sell there um, because I broke my sunglasses and I needed a pair just to have in the car. So I bought those for myself. Oh, this is so good, you guys. I did pay up for this. So is this the first thing I've paid up for? Might've been, I think there's a couple in the bag, 
this is weekend at Max Mara. I never find Max Mara. I think I've found it once or twice in my whole thrifting career. So it's very uncommon. Um, I did only pay $7.99 for this. It is like a lightweight sweater, um, short sleeve, and then it has this really pretty like slit in the back. I just thought that was really cute. It is a size, uh, I don't know. It was in the large section. So I'll have to measure that, I think pair of ankle boots with the peep toe and they're like the stretchy knit and these are Eileen Fisher size eight and a half so cute love that I love selling Eileen Fisher footwear it always does really well all right now another pair of shoes I paid only $1.99 for and these are Ariat they're like a clog with the ankle strap and they are leather obviously they have a couple little scuffs that I'm going to try to buff out but for $1.99, I mean, I was not going to leave these behind. They do look like a small size though, but I don't, here we go. What size are they? A seven and a half. So not too bad. Size seven and a half. Those are so cute, right? Okay guys, the last thing that I got and I did pay up for this. <sighs> I love this brand. So this is Alex Mill, which is a really good brand. It's a size small. It's this really nice, like grayish tan uh cable knit fisherman style sweater and the fabric content is it is wool alpaca blend and i did pay 14.99 so i paid up for this but when i did a quick comp search i, I saw comps around like 70 to 90 dollars um, but i didn't find this exact sweater and i didn't look for wool slash alpaca which can do better than just like a general you know polyester or something so I am so excited. I feel like that was like the best haul I've had in a long time. So I had to share it with you guys, even with my no makeup face, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave me comments. Let me know. What did you think of my haul? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.